Yep, you heard that right. How you feel affects how your pussy smells. Mm. So when you are stressed or anxious, your sweat glands in your pussy produce a milky fluid and each emotion adds a different scent to this milky fluid. You, I wish more women would know about the powers of their pussies and the power of their natural pussy fragrance. I see so many women being worried about their vagina scent while in most cases the scent is 100% natural and normal and beautiful. Yes, a woman's vagina does not smell like a bouquet of flowers but a it's not supposed to smell like that it's supposed to smell like a pussy so that it can be a pussy you know with all its glory power and magic you know but since so many women always worry about their vagina scents i will share in this video seven types of vagina scents and what they mean and my belly is now so big that it's actually the two of us speaking so i hope you don't mind drop a comment below and guess how many weeks i'm pregnant right now let's have some fun i want to see how much you know and if you want my little secret to make your vagina smell really really good naturally and make your vagina feel more tight instantly then click the link up here or under this video i don't want to say too much because it's my personal little secret so go check it out if you want to have a tight magical and really really good smelling vagina okay baby girl now let's jump into the most common seven vagina scents and what they mean let's go mm. hold up i ain't nobody you want to fuck with i ain't your body i ain't no hobbyist now i got a pumpkin clump that'll dump six slugs in a pumpkin i'm a pumpkin complex my golden cup vagina scent number one tangy like yogurt well, tangy and fermented may not sound very sexy, I agree, <laughs> but it is the most common scent of a vagina. It is super, super normal for a vagina to produce a slightly tangy and sour fragrance. And this is due to the pH of the vagina, which is slightly acidic to keep your little beautiful flower naturally healthy and clean. Vagina scent number two, coppery like a penny. Depending on a woman's menstrual cycle, her pussy can smell a little coppery or metallic, and it is usually nothing to worry about. The reason for a slight coppery smell can be that there are little blood particles present inside the vagina fluid. This can be due to your menstrual cycle or because you've experienced slight bleeding during your last sexual exploration. Blood contains iron and iron has a slight metallic scent or should be actually good. But if you're experiencing bleeding unrelated to your period or the metallic scent stays with itching and discharge, then please, please, please go check it out. Also, baby girl, bleeding during or after sex is not normal. It means you are not getting enough lubricated, which may point you at some other issues. But let's talk about this in another video. Vagina scent number three, sweet like molasses sugar. Yep, that sweet smell, but not sweet like cookies, but sweet as in robust and earthy sweet. And the reason for the sweet smell is ta -da -da -da, bacteria. Your vagina pH is an ever-changing bacterial ecosystem. Whatever you do, feel and think affects your vagina scent. I've witnessed for me personally that I tend to smell sweet when it gets more humid and warm around my pussy and I tend to see it as a sign to take off my panties and my pants and get some fresh oxygen for my sweet little flower down here. <laughs> Vagina scent number four, chemical like a freshly clean bathroom. If you feel like your flower smells more like a freshly cleaned bathroom or like bleach with a slightly fishy scent, it may be a good idea to double check what's going on down there. It may be nothing, but it may mean you have contracted a bacterial vaginosis infection. Bacterial vaginosis is a very, very common infection and can be healed naturally if you know what you're doing. When you contract the BV, you can have symptoms like a foul or fishy odor, thin, gray, white or green discharge, vagina itching and a little bit vagina burning when you pee. If you want to learn how to heal a BV naturally, then check out the link up here or under this video. It's my little secret again, so don't tell too many people. Mm. 
Vagina scent number five, a pungent or earthy herbal scent. Pungent is good, an earthy scent is good, it is primal, it is you. The reason for a pungent earthy herbal vagina scent is that you have sweat glands in and around your vagina just like you have them under your armpits. And the scent these sweat glands produce is dependent on your emotional state. Yep, you heard that right. How you feel affects how your pussy smells. Mm. So when you are stressed or anxious, your sweat glands in your pussy produce a milky fluid and each emotion adds a different scent to this milky fluid and to your vagina fragrance. Vagina scent number six, a fishy scent. Yes, I know, no woman likes to have a beautiful pussy compared to a fish. And yet, when a woman experiences vagina infections, it is the best way to describe the scent her vagina exudes because of it. A fishy scent is always a sign for vagina imbalance and infection, and it can either be a bacterial vaginosis or a trichomoniasis. Trichomoniasis. Trichomoniasis which is the most common and curable sexually transmitted infection. In any case, sunshine, a fishy scent around your vagina needs your freaking attention immediately because fishy means imbalance. Fishy means something's fishy, you know? Vagina scent number seven, strong rotten scent. If your vagina scent is so strong that you can smell it while being fully closed, then it is likely not because of your vagina, but because something is inside your vagina that is decaying, and in most cases that is either a tampon or some other tissues forgotten inside your beautiful vagina. Hmm, like a key, you know, you can also forget a key inside the vagina or, you know, all sort of things can be forgotten in the vagina. <laughs> I'm personally not a big fan of tampons anyways, but if you do use them, then please, please, please make sure to change them often and only use them when it's really, really necessary since they mess with the bacteria of your vagina and does always affect the scent of your beautiful pussy. So baby girl, there you go. Your vagina is alive just like the rest of your body and your beautiful heart. And its fragrance is ever changing. You smell different with each emotion you feel after each sex you have had during each of your menstrual cycles with each food and medication you take. How your pussy smells has a lot to do with how you feel about yourself and about your life. The natural scent of your pussy is of crazy crazy importance so please don't try to alter it or change it with artificial scents. It acts as a natural pheromone to potential mates because no matter how smart we are at our base we are just like all animals driven by hormones and pheromones. If you change your natural healthy vagina scent, you may be attracting the wrong mates in your life. And I'm not sure you want that, but you can try. So connect to that primal side of yours. Embrace it, baby. It is beautiful. It is powerful. And trust me, as long as you are healthy, your pussy will always smell good to the right people in your life. Um, yeah. If you want to get more secrets of how to take care of your vagina and your sexual body, then make sure to sign up for my free VIP list. I am sending a free secret to a better sex life every Sunday to everybody who is on my VIP list, VIP list. So be my VIP, baby. Okay, sunshine, that's that. I am sending you waves of love and I'm out of here like the sun in Bali here. Mm. You are still here with me. So why don't you go check out my next video and get even smarter on love, sex and relationships. I love you. With itching and discharge, then please baby boy, baby girl, not baby boy. <laughs>